Hi, good afternoon. My name is Hemin Um, and I will be talking about a multi-organ segmentation method for thoracic organs at risk from CT images. Radiotherapy treatment planning for patients with lung cancer requires highly accurate segmentations for precise tumor targeting while reducing unnecessary dose to critical normal organs. However, clinically used manual delineations are often time consuming to produce and exhibit high inter and intra radio variability. Current methods for automatic segmentation of thoracic organs at risk, such as the unit or fully convolutional networks, still pose a challenge for structures like the esophagus, which are narrow and thin in shape and show little soft tissue contrast. This is due to the laws of resolution of the deeper convolutional layers. As such, our aim was to implement a deep learning based method to segment the left and right lungs, heart, esophagus, and spinal cord. The architecture of our network is summarized by this figure. The Multiple Resolution Residual Network, or MRRN, computes multiple feature streams, here depicted as R0, R1, R2, and R3, which carry features computed at a particular image resolution and provide contextual information at a higher image resolution when residually combined with deeper layer features. This means that the features or streams are both residually input to every feature layer and updated after passing through each layer through reverse connections, shown here with the black arrows. Such residual feature combination was done to improve the stability of our deep training network. The residual connection unit, or RCU, takes in a residual input from one of the preceding higher resolution feature streams after appropriate downsampling, and features computed from the immediately preceding CNN layer, or RCU, and then concatenates these two features before processing them through CNN blocks. The residual output of the RCU is then passed back to the feature stream, and the regular output is passed to the next RCU, or CNN layer. In other words, the MRN simultaneously combines information from various feature streams computed at different resolution levels, which helps preserve different levels of spatial context for segmentation. We trained the MRN in 2D using 206 CT scans of internal patients with locally advanced non-small cell lung cancer with 35 scans held out for validation. The model was then tested on 60 CT scans from the open source data set provided by the 2017 APM Thoracic Auto Segmentation Challenge. Testing set 1 was used to evaluate the accuracy of the generated segmentations when compared against expert delineations using the dissimilar coefficient, and testing set 2 was used to benchmark the performance of our approach against the three best performing methods in the APM Grand Challenge. In total, 21,441 images were used for training and 2,104 images were used for validation and all of these were sized 256 by 256 after cropping and resizing. Furthermore, the network was implemented using the Keras and TensorFlow libraries and optimized using the Atom algorithm with an initial learning rate of 1 to the power of negative 4 and cross entropy loss for 50 epochs with a batch size of 10. The model producing the best average size across all five structures on the validation set was selected, and 3D segmentations were generated by combining the 2D results. The highest median dyes achieved using testing set 1 with the MRN uh, was observed for the left and right lungs with a dice of 0.97, followed by the heart with a dice of 0.93, then by the spinal cord with 0.88, and lastly, the esophagus with a dice of 0.78. The table at the bottom shows a comparison of the segmentation accuracy achieved by the various methods expressed as mean dice with standard deviation for all five structures in testing set two. As you can see, our approach outperformed the best performing uh, method in the grand challenge for the esophagus. Also, the dice values are comparable between the four methods for all remaining structures. This figure shows a representative case from the online testing phase of the Grand Challenge. As shown by the yellow colored overlap between the two masks, green being the expert delineation and red being the algorithm generated mask. Our method produced uh, highly accurate segmentations for all five structures. These results show that our approach is promising for future use in the clinic uh, for treatment planning. Thank you.